How do you have people jumping out windows without uh, equalizing the air pressure? I'm saying, once you blow out windows or open windows or whatever they did, they had lots of open windows because a lot of people came tumbling out. And once it started coming down on the sides, you saw all of this stuff blowing out the sides. So windows and a lot more were being blown out. So I think the difference in pressure that you're talking about isn't relevant to what's happening during the collapse of the building. Right. And they talk about if you basically have the building coming down like a piston, and some of these people are saying, well, how did it get to these focused little spots, you know, 30 or 50 feet, 30 or 50 floors lower? Oh, well, maybe through the air ducts. Well, uh, what kind of pressure does it take to blow out an air duct compared to what it takes to blow out one of those windows? You know, if you're going to have enough focused air pressure to blow out a window, it seems like that aluminum sheet metal stuff is going to be in splinters long before the window would reach breakable. Well, I do know. That's a ridiculous idea. That's my point, is that... Okay. I'm saying people are proposing these as serious proposals. They are ridiculous ideas. They throw them out there, but they don't work. They're, they are not true, and you can show that they can't be true. So by the time you have blown out all of these windows down the side of the building, you have nothing to hold excess air pressure in place. So I don't think any argument based on air pressure in the buildings, whether it's from a piston effect or from this air conditioning effect or anything you describe, I don't think any of that can have anything really to do with what's going on. I think you can't avoid the fact we are seeing explosions. And I think that's concludable from what we're seeing here. So I'm not willing to just, oh, wave my hands. I think you have to distinguish between silly ideas and ideas that you can support. And I mean, I can, I'm not trying to say you're silly. I'm trying to say the people who are making these arguments and trying to make them stick. NIST made these arguments. You're quoting NIST. You're, maybe you're not quoting NIST, but NIST has done the same thing. And they certainly have the expertise to know that what they're saying doesn't make sense. 